Hi foodies, <laughs> this is Jenny here from Jenny's Walk. My dear foodies, you know we're here to learn, share, and create. So I did a little shopping today and I just wanna share with you all this lovely stuff that I got in shopping. You know, the summer is coming. So let's take a look over here. This plant, my dear foodies, I so wanna share with you. This is a, make a good guess. Put it in the comment below, how many of you know this plant? This is a banana plant. It's a fig tree or a banana tree, whatever you want to call it, it's a dwarf size. Now, I am not looking forward to reap any bananas from this, but being an island person, you know, it's really nice to see something like this. It makes you feel at home. So lovely leaf, fresh and nice. It's not burnt. And we have a lot of babies that is coming out. You know how the banana tree goes. They have a lot of babies or sucker, as you would say, will start coming out from the bottom right over there. So I'm going to transplant this lovely banana plant or fig tree fig plant is a dwarf uh, into, into a bigger pot and in here I have I bought some um, some potting mix you know usually you will have manure as you would say so I got this one I'm going to try this one and put it in it has miracle growth and everything in there so I'm going to put this in you could take a look at it it's a cactus palm and citrus and it's fast draining formula you don't want to buy one that where when you put the water into to wet your plant all the fertilizer comes up or the dirt or the pot and soil whatever you know it as start floating up to the top that is not good so jenny's work we don't only cook we do other things too so this is what i pick up there and i really want to share with you you could try home depot it's really nice or you could check your favorite plant store so while i was outside my dear foodies i want to share with you my favorite carrot cake stop lloyd's carrot cake is right here in the bronx lloyd's carrot cake made food network i do a lovely um fruit carrot cake as you can see on my page and i follow the similar recipe to lloyd's divine take a look at that my dear foodies irresistible this one is done with coconut oil so i'm going to be doing one of this for you uh very soon on jenny's walk and uh, subscribe in jenny's Jenny's work on YouTube and on Facebook. This is the one with pecans and raisin. There's also pecan and raisin inside the cake. And this is a cream cheese frosting. I'm gonna just dip and show to you. It's a simple frosting. I can't wait to get my hands and my mouth and my taste buds into this lovely carrot cake. So let me take a look now and show to you our fresh produce. So foodies, you know, I went and had my face done. I had a nice facial and went to the spa and pamper myself a little bit. So right there, there's a vegetable store. So let's take a look over here now and see the lovely vegetables. I want to share with you what I got. So this, my dear foodies, is jaggery. Jaggery, jiggery, jaggera, whatever your name is. It's just sugar cane. That is what it is. And this is a sweetness, a sugar that you would use. And I will use in a lot of the Indian cooking. I just want to share this with you lovely and i got me some chili peppers you know those are bird pepper just pick up a few there's red there's green there's yellow just a little bit i got in there uh take a look at this my dear foodies tell me how do you make yours i know a lot of my foodies know exactly what is this vegetable finest vegetable you could get so fresh green no bruise on them look at that and so young this is called same let me know in what part of the world you are. It's a lovely vegetable and how do you call the same? I especially love my same to cook with green pigeon peas or gandule, give it a nice curry, make a total vegetarian. Or if you want to add like um, beef, lamb, bone pieces of chicken or any um, boneless meat, it's awesome. Or you could just make it plain, just like steam it down with some tomato. Coconut milk goes lovely too in this lovely same. Just to share this with you, divine. My dear foodies, I know this have a lot of names. This is my favorite and my family's favorite. It's known as yard, like one yard, Y-A-R-D. One yard, like the length, the measurement. Yard, long beans, bora, bodhi, um, snake beans. There's so many different names for this bean. I like to steam it. I, could, I like to add it in my fried rice. I like to add it in my um, steam bean with boneless beef. You can curry it. You can steam it down with just with tomato. You could also add meat to it, boneless meat or bone meat where the marrow will really flavor it up. Great as a vegetarian dish. You can make lots of um, Chinese dishes, 
uh, Cantonese style dishes, a lot of them. Lovely Bodhi, Bora, Long Bean, Snake Bean here. That goes that. My dear foodies, let me know how many of you know this one. How many of you grow this in your backyard? So this is a spinach. This spinach, my dear foodies, is known as Pui. P-O-I. Pui Baji. Long ago, Granny used to plant this on the fencing. And she would go and break some of these and add it to make in her dal. Like dal and rice, her dal. Split peas, yellow split peas or green split peas when Granny is cooking. She would add a few of this. It has a bit of a slimy texture. You could chop this up really nicely. We use it every part of this. Nothing goes to waste. And I'm going to steam this down with just some garlic and onion and some chili peppers. This goes well as a lovely vegetarian dish. It can be eaten with white rice, dal again, or samba with um, with some kuchilo, any little condiment on the side, anchar, curry mango, anything. Lovely pui baji. And you will observe, for some of you who know about it, you know it sends out, oh, here we go, we got a little flower here. This is a flower, it will uh, blossom and has a little black seed. And that seed, you're gonna take it and put it back down on the ground. And this is just gonna vine and vine and vine away. Lovely Pui Baji, let me know from wherever you're looking in from. What is your name for this and how do you prepare it? So here at Jenny's Walk, you know, you get a little share and create. Lots of vegetables around the world and you all may know it by a different name so here we go fresh and nice really beautiful this is great to lower your cholesterol this is korean eggplant very soft sweet this has a lovely sweet flavor in it i love this to saute with like beef and this or just grill this just like so i have several recipe on jenny's walk on facebook um join in follow me and you will see lots of recipe with this lovely korean eggplant um this goes really nice to make a nice curry beef with um as you would say bygone curry bygone with uh eggplant curry bygone curry beef with bygone there we go little stop over there getting excited over these fresh vegetables so lovely korean eggplant here so now we go again before I get to that. This is what I got, some Boston lettuce. This is my favorite lettuce, my dear foodies. It is so crispy. It's so creamy, delightful, smooth. I love this lettuce for every salad that I make. This would be my number one choice. And you get it in a nice little package. It stays very long in the refrigerator. Just put a little piece of your paper towel there and keep this here moist. And it will keep all your leaf really beautiful, fresh, nice. It wouldn't dry off at all. And this is, I think it's done hydrophonic. Hydrophonic, I think it is name. Hydrophonic, where it's just grown in water with sponge. And here I have some parata. You know, like in on those busy days, you get 30 pieces here, no cholesterol, no preservative, it's frozen. They're all individually wrapped. You just drop this into your hot plate or your frying pan, two minutes on each side, and you have your hot parata to eat right away. Lovely roti there to eat with those same, and those pui bhaji and all of those good stuff. Here I have some prawns. I am not too much of a seafood lover, but these are some really big, beautiful, the guy said it's like a tiger prawn. You see how big they are? Really beautiful. Look at the size of my hand, my finger. You see that? Look at that. That's like a six inch, five and a half to six inches. This is really lovely, fresh and nice, just out of the ocean, I guess. Let me rinse my hand. And then here, my dear foodies, for all my lovers, for all of you who like beef, lovely fresh, fresh killed beef from the butcher over here, I got uh, just one piece of bone in in this beef and you know the bone marrow itself is going to flavor up your beef really good nice to cook with that eggplant and you break it open so you can see the lovely color you don't want too much of a red meat red meat means that it's a bit tough so you're looking for more a pinkish color meat and you could see the blood so you know when it's that it's a fresh it's a fresh piece of beef a uh, bright red color and firm you know this is fresh and it is not going bad so you want to get into this quickly and cut it up, season it up, and freeze it for the future use in your refrigerator. So here is some beef liver. This is the fresh beef liver, not the frozen one. So very cold. I just took a part of it. You see how nice and that film over it, over the 
the liver is firm and nice there you go look at that so you want a very bright dark red looking color for your liver for those of you who eat the beef liver you see that color there it's not breaking up and it's not spongy so you know this liver is fresh you see that look at all the vessels in there the blood vessels it's really fresh and nice so you know you get a really lovely piece of liver there can you wash my hands again oh and let's not forget our oil I got me some oil you know i love to use my mustard oil it's an edible mustard oil you see there so you grab your mustard oil and i got a nice olive oil here you know i love my olive oil not too bad it was a good price this is something i want to share with my foodies in the island in in the islands the caribbean islands this is chalta my Guyanese brothers and sisters um trinidad and tobago Grenada, all my foodies of East Indian descendants in the Caribbean island and around the world, my Indian brothers and sisters, you will know what chalta is. So chalta is a big round green fruit. It is especially used to make anchar, amchar or pickled chalta. All of them means the same thing. I have a mango anchar video on my page. You can take a look at that. So this one is an upcoming video I'm going to make for you, uh, chalta anchar or chalta chili, um, chalta pickled, or whatever name you know it as. In Fiji Island, my sisters over here said they call it achar, achar, A-C-H-A-R, achar. So we're gonna be making some of that. And in the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago, they also preserve this like red, like a red mango pickle with a little vinegar, tangy, sweet, spicy, tangy taste. But I'm going to make this like Indian style, achar, as we would say, achar. So thank you, my dear 40s, for joining me in this lovely little and this lovely little shopping that I had today. I spent some time on myself, but I still share with you all my findings and these great little um, uh, vegetables that sometimes we don't get, some of you get. So this was done in Starling Avenue in Casa Hill. There is a video on my page where I did a lovely shopping day already and I went back today again and I got a lot of stuff there. So the summer is here for all my foodies in the Bronx and Queens and Brooklyn. You could come on down, come to the Bronx there in Castle Hill and there's several stores there that you could go in and do this lovely shopping. So from my kitchen to your kitchen, happy cooking.